Hey, what's up, Granos and Granettes? Juan Granos, back again, this time with another review. Um, before I begin the show, full disclosure, um, the items were, uh, were sent to me by the manufacturer for me to review. However, um, any anything I say is what I think. It's, it, they didn't tell me to say these things. This is what I think of the item. So if it sucks, I'll let you know if it sucks. If it's good, I'll let you know if it's good. I've been lucky so far. The stuff that I've been sent, they've all been good. So, you know. But with that out of the way, let's get into the review. So a company called Azul um, sent me a multifunctional remote. Now the remote name is Link. Link. L-Y-N-K. Um, and it's basically, uh, it's a multifunctional remote that could pretty much control anything in your house with an infrared signal, okay? Um, it's not a Bluetooth remote. So you cannot connect it to anything that is, uh, you know, it needs a Bluetooth uh, um, connection. This can only control anything infrared. But, however, it could control anything that is infrared. Anything. Um, if you still have a VCR that you lost the remote, you could use this. Um, your, your cable box, you lost the remote, you broke the remote, you could use this. Your TV remote, you can use this. Um, the, well, let's let's let, why don't we just you know get right into it? So let's open it up. So, this is the remote, uh, okay, and some other stuff in here. So, it comes with a little uh dongle switch, a little switch that you could plug into uh, any USB um, computer, and the instructions. Okay, so the instructions, you know, basically, I, I don't, I tend not to read these, but these instructions are very technical. I, I did speak to them about that being very technical. Um, again, um, if you are a person that likes technical stuff, this is you, basically, like I said, you could program anything with this remote. Okay, so let's, let's get right to the remote. So, the remote. Um, it has a Windows button right on top here. So, guess what? If you plug this dongle switch to your remote, uh, I should say the USB little um, uh, port, um, you could control your computer with this, yes. So if you have one of those um, computers that you connect to the TV and you wanna have a remote for that, this is perfect because it's also an air mouse. Um, uh, right over here it has the button for the air mouse so you could turn you in essence you could press this button here and it turns into a mouse and you just point it on the screen and you can move it around I actually already tried this and it works perfectly um, I'm gonna try to do it on screen so you can see what I was talking about um, the best part the coolest part about this remote it is definitely the keyboard now check this out it's a full keyboard even has the F keys right on top. I don't know if you can see that. There it is, F key, F1, F2, F3, F4. You know, it has all the F keys up there. And it's basically a full keyboard. Everything that a regular keyboard has is right here. Um, now, another really cool feature, let me see if I could do it with these lights, is, let me turn off this light. Let me turn off, oh, there it is. So check that out. Let me see if I can turn this light off too. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Look at that. How cool is that? It has a built-in light. So, you, you know, if you're in the dark and you can't see, you press the little button and it lights up. How cool is that? Um, so, that's that. Uh, oops, let me turn on this light. Yikes. Um, right, so what else? Um, it is extremely easy to program. Um, you basically take your TV remote or whatever remote you have. Again, it has to be infrared, and you could turn it infrared. Or maybe the camera. See how the camera could read that? Your eye can't see that, but the camera can because only this camera only does that. I believe from 29 frames per second. So this is going much faster. So I think that's why the the camera could read it. I could be wrong. Um, as well as this, I believe. Let's see. Well, you can't see it, but 
it is in there in the little light. Um, so to, re to, to program this is really simple. You basically face the two remotes like so. You press the learn AI button right down here. You click on it. It blinks a couple of times. Again, I'm gonna leave a link in the description to show you a, a, a more detailed um, video on how to do this, but it's, it's basically this. You point it at each other, you press the, the program key on the remote, and then you press the power key on your, on your TV remote or VCR remote, DVD remote, whatever remote you have, and that's it. It's programmed. You can turn on, turn off. Cool. So let's go over the different features of the remote. So basically, like I said, it's an infrared remote that you can basically program anything um, to the remote so you could use it with anything you have in your house that has an infrared remote um, so that's very important uh, or wait, not only infrared but um, a USB port so if it has a USB port let's say um, your computer of course if it has a USB port you plug this in and you have your keyboard if you have um, a um, one of those mini PCs, which I'll be doing a video of um, as well, you could use this and you just plug in your mini PC to the back of your TV, you plug this in and voila, you have a, you know, a remote with a full keyboard, which is the coolest thing ever. Um, uh, operating systems, you know, PC, Android, Mac, Mac OS, um, and Xbox and PS4, PS3, whatever because you could plug in that USB um, dongle switch, little little switch here. You could plug that into your, your PlayStation or your Xbox and you could use this um, as, a, as a keyboard. You know, that's, that's the biggest thing. When you're, um, you know, chatting or you're looking for something um, online, the keyboard is a big plus. This is, this is what I think sells this um, remote. Um, like I said, it's easy to program. And the best part, it's definitely the keyboard. I'll say it again, the keyboard is the best part of this. Now, it does have one feature that I haven't tried yet um, uh, because I haven't tried it on a PC, I'm, I'm using a Mac, but it does have a voice command switch, uh, sorry, button right up here. So I know that if you have a PC and you have Katarna, um, in your PC and you press this button and you talk to it, like they'll say, you know, Katarna, what's the weather? It'll tell you the weather, obviously, on your screen. So I'm gonna try to see if I could get that to work. Um, it has a, a mouse um, right, right button switch right up here. So it, it works like a mouse right button switch. And the middle one is a, is a left button switch. And this is a directional pad where you could use as, you know, to move around the screen. So, and it does have a menu, a little, um, what they call the, the, the burger, the burger menu, what is it, right there? You know, you press on that. And a, a home menu, volume menus, I mean volume buttons right here. So, what, what I'm gonna try is, I'm gonna try to see what can I get this working on screen so you guys can see it, okay? So, let's see, first, uh, first item, come right up. Okay, so, experiment number one, I'm gonna be trying to see if I connect my fire stick to the remote. So this is the remote for the fire stick. So the fire stick does have a voice command. Um, you know, it has a directional button, home, the usual buttons, you know these buttons, you know these buttons. Um, if you haven't seen my fire stick uh, review, I'm gonna put it right over over here so there it is so check it out I also talk about Cody and how to uh, jailbreak your Cody without any PC so go, go take a look at it I'm gonna also leave it at the end of the video so you could check it out as well um, so that's the video so now going back to this so what I do know that you need you need a little wire that looks like this. Um, they sell it on Amazon, on Amazon, they sell it on Amazon, and the wire costs about 
two bucks, something like that. So this is what you need because the Fire Stick only comes with one micro USB. So you need to connect your little dongle to the to, to the Fire Stick somehow, and this is how you do it. You you get this little um sort of bypass little um, jammy. And the good thing about the new Fire Stick is that you don't have to do anything to it. You don't, there's no you don't have to go into settings or programming or anything like that um, for this to work so I just literally plug this in to hear the power supply there and from what I can see it works let's check it out so here I am in my um, Amazon fire and I have my remote here and check this out so if I go to the left oops what did I press there I pressed up um, right so if I go to the oh or I'm, I'm just pressing all over the place here um, so this is kind of interesting so to go back on the fire stick you use the right mouse button on the remote here um, to press enter you press the center button here so why don't we check something out here let's go into why not let's go into Cody 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 yeah, let's see, Free Willy. Yeah, one of my favorites, Free Willy. Um, so let's check out Cody, see what's going on in Cody. Um, so, so yeah, so basically I'm just doing what I would do on my fire stick. You know, I'm using this, this um, you know, button here to, to move around. And, yeesh, what did I do here? Um, let's see. I want to go to add-ons, and it's not music, it's videos, add-ons. I'm not going to play any movies because I don't want my video to get flagged, but I'm just going to, you know, go and see if the keyboard, the keyboard works. Sorry, upside down, if the keyboard works, and if that does, that will be so sweet. Um, so let's check it out. Oops, I keep pressing all kinds of buttons here it's, um i'm not used to it the remote is very sensitive from what i could tell um so why don't we do a search just quickly to see if it works uh, movies and drum roll please let's do iron man let's see if that works oh there it is so look at that so I'm just typing along in my little keyboard here let's press enter and voila I can see it's working and it, look at that it found Iron Man so the keyboard works works like a perfect perfect jam now I'm wondering if the microphone works now that would be kind of crazy if it does um, wait hold on let me press button for the mouse does the mouse work? No way. No way. What? Oh. <laughs> now, see, that is pretty cool. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. And you can see that it's moving around. That's pretty exciting. I'm actually pretty impressed with that. Um, this makes this even cooler. Um, I'm not quite pointing at the little um piece there that comes with it so it's a little weird for me to move around but this is working i wonder if the home button works let me press home see if it takes me home no it does not take me home um to the home as i mean as in um the amazon home um so uh, to get out of this i will have to click quit right here or turn off and it will exit, yep. and it, it should take me back to the Amazon screen. So that's pretty exciting. I'm actually very impressed with that. Um, this works. This works. Um, one thing I do want to try out is to see if the microphone button works as well. So let's go back in, let's see, and I don't know, here goes nothing. Uh, find something, hello, 
Hello? No. So the microphone button does not work with um, the Fire Stick, which is not, I don't know, it's not that big of a deal for me. Um, I don't think I, I don't know how many times I've actually used um, the, the Fire Stick, like talk to it and find something. So, okay, so one, one thing I do notice is that the mouse does not work in the fire stick environment. And that makes sense because the, the mouse is actually meant to be, ooh, no, 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 let's not put that. I wanna get some sort of a, something on my account. Um, the, the, the air mouse would not work on the fire stick because hypothetically speaking, the fire stick is not a PC. It's a sort of like, I guess you could say an Android device or a fire, whatever it is that they call their system. So it, it, it probably wouldn't work. So um, it makes sense that it does work in Kodi, which again, that's what I, I will use it for anyways. I mean, I have the fire stick cause I, I you know, I order crap from Amazon all the time, but, um, I use it mostly to watch movies, which is what everybody else uses it for. So, experiment number one, ka -ching! success. The remote works perfectly with a fire stick using the magic wire, which I will leave the link below so you could get your own little magic wire and you can play with it. Um, so, let's go on to the next thing. Let's see what else we could plug in and play, all right? So my next experiment is gonna be try with the Roku. Let's see if the Roku works. I, it basically uses the same thing. It uses a micro USB and connection and um, I just basically plugged it in to see if it works. So this is the Roku remote and here's our multi, uh, multi, multi, multi remote. Let's try it out. So uh, flip on the Roku. Here's the Roku. Everything is plugged in. This is the Roku remote. Now works okay. So let's try our multifunctional remote oh no so that doesn't work let me see left right no maybe the mouse works mouse mousey 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 no the mouse does not work home button maybe the keyboard maybe you can type something in with the keyboard no so with the roku it does not work well at least we tried um all right Let's try the next thing. So uh, here's a bit of a Hail Mary. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but why not? I'm just trying stuff out. Um, so I have an iPad, very old iPad, iPad 2, and I have this little, little, whatever you call these things, you know. It's actually a camera connection, so you can plug in, you know, USBs and all that stuff, but it has a USB um, port on it, so I was gonna see if it work. Here's the keyboard, the keyboard popped up. And let's try it out. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Maybe the mouse? Mousey? Mousey, mousey, mousey. Okay, so that didn't work either. All right, so I am one for three. One, one worked, two haven't. Um, so let's try one more. See if I um, can get something else working. This is very cool. I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually pretty impressed with the remote already. I mean, me personally, what I wanted it to work with was the Amazon stick. I know it works on the PlayStation. I know it works in the Xbox. I know it works on my TV, um, and it does work on my um, Apple TV. But it's a little clunky, a little, you know. So, but um, one more experiment. So, let's uh, let's check it out. Okay, so my final experiment is going to be with a, with a, a mini PC that I do have. Um, uh, I'll be doing a another video for the mini PC, um, I guess, after this one. Um, once I post it, I'm going to put it right over, I always forget, it's right over my shoulder here, right here. I'm going to put the video. Um, so let me leave that space there. Yep, there. There it is. Once I finish, that's what it's going to be. So I'm gonna do a full review on that once I finish with this video. Um, so I know for a fact that it works with it, but I just wanna show you guys how it works. Um, so basically this is a keyboard for a PC. 
and what I have is a little mini PC. It's so cool, the mini PC. It's very, very powerful and it works really, really good. Um, so again, I'm gonna get into more into detail with a with a mini PC in a different video. For now, let's take a look at how it works. So um, it's the same way. Um, I already clicked on the mouse button and, and it's already it's already moving around the mouse. Um, and you do have to sort of point it in the general direction of wherever the PC is. And I mean, basically. I mean, it just works. So as you can see, I'm not gonna set that up right now. I mean, I don't, I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to waste your time setting that up. Plus, I'm gonna do another video with a mini PC where I show you how it works with the mini PC. The mini PC is really cool. Um, it, I think the remote is bigger than the mini PC, and it's really cool because the mini PC you could take it anywhere. You could take it on vacation if you want. I mean, you really shouldn't take a, t a computer on vacation. But let's say you want to take a computer on vacation, you could take the mini PC. Um, if it's in the po in the pocket in your pocket, you know, it won't take a lot of space. Um, it uses a, a micro USB um, uh, uh, power supply. Anyways, I'm gonna get into that in the next video. Um, my take on the remote is I think the remote works. It works for me. Um, it didn't work on the Roku, and it didn't work on the iPad. I didn't think it was gonna work on the iPad. I was just sort of trying stuff out. But it works with the Kodi, and it's the perfect Kodi companion if you have a Fire Stick in which you you know, you know hack to, to watch movies or whatever. So um, I'm giving you two thumbs up. I'm gonna give you like three granules, you know, actually four granules for this. Um, it's a great remote. The mouse feature works on Cody. Um, the, the the you know the buttons were, everything worked. Everything everything just worked. I actually didn't try the power button. I, I bet you if I would have pressed the power button on the Cody, it would probably turn off the Cody instead of using the mouse. But I was pretty excited about the mouse, and I'm super psyched about the the full keyboard in the back. Plus the backlit. Um, there's the backlit button where you could turn it on, so you could so you could have um, light on your keyboard. Um, so I recommend that if you have a fire stick, a, a fire um, TV, I'm pretty sure it'll work with it. Again, all you need is the little cable, which I'm gonna leave the link for it on, on the bottom there. And the perfect Cody companion, definitely recommend it. Um, I'm gonna leave a link on the bottom again. I'm gonna leave all the links that you need on the bottom. So thank you for watching. I am Juan Granos. You've been watching LG TV, Los Granos TV. Find us on Facebook, Los Granos. On Twitter, Los Granos. On Instagram, Los Granos. Wherever there's a granos, that's where we at, okay? Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Don't forget, I'm gonna do the, the mini PC review later this week, so look for it. Um, and I'll leave the link at the end of this video once I finish it. So, thanks for watching. Peace.